Although he does not top the list of the world's richest billionaires, every time the media mentions Roman Abramovich, people can imagine one of the richest tycoons in the world, especially since the day Russia waged war with Russia and Ukraine. This Russian billionaire's huge assets were also confiscated to some extent, accompanied by sanctions from the EU. However, Abramovich still owns assets worth $9 billion. Despite a decrease of nearly 50% in more than a year since Roman Abramovich faced heavy sanctions from Western countries, causing his assets to decrease by half, what did the former Chelsea coach do to avoid sanctions and adapt to the situation new? Are you curious about the current life of this famous billionaire? Let's find out now. Start right now, from humble beginnings, Abramovich was born on October 24, 1966 in the town of Saratov in southern Russia. This oil tycoon is of Russian-Jewish descent, with three nationalities Russian, Israeli, and Portuguese, perhaps what Abramovich is best known for is his ownership of Chelsea Football Club. Before building the great empire it is today, young Roman Abramovich had a difficult childhood. Orphaned at a young age, he was raised by his grandparents in the Komi region, Siberia. Abramovich even had average academic performance when he was young. He first started making money by selling plastic dolls at a market stall after leaving two universities, in the late 1980s. He continued his entrepreneurial journey by selling rubber ducks from his Moscow apartment in 1987. After briefly serving in the Soviet army, Abramovich was given a gift by his first wife's parents. $2,000. Rubles as a wedding gift. This money allowed him to expand his business producing deodorants and perfumes. When he partnered with Boris Berezovsky, who ran the Lada Car Company. When Soviet industry topped the charts, Abramovich earned his first billion, largely thanks to the acquisition of the oil company Sibneft in 1995. At that time, the tycoon and Abramovich bought Sibneft for just £100 million by lending shares. This laid the foundation for Abramovich's huge fortune, bringing him £7.5 billion from the sale of Sibneft. From here, he became one of the world's leading billionaires. Abramovich's assets lie in British Evraz, a mining and steel giant listed on the London Stock Exchange of which he is the largest shareholder. In September 2005, Abramovich topped the list of the world's richest people under 40 years old voted by Forbes magazine. At that time, Abramovich's assets were estimated at about $8.3 billion according to Bloomberg Index calculations. Abramovich's assets are currently convertible to 7.26 million ounces of gold and 1.39 million barrels of crude oil. Additionally, Abramovich's net worth is 200,000 times the median household income in the United States. Crowned king of the Chelsea Empire, Russian billionaire Abramovich first gained attention when he splurged on Chelsea Football Club in 2003. To own the club, he spent $100 million and took on Chelsea's debt of $134 million. Abramovich's takeover of Chelsea is considered a wise business deal. When the club was facing difficulties, few people knew that during the first nine years of leadership, Abramovich continuously suffered more losses than profits from Chelsea, however, motivated by his passionate love of football, the Russian tycoon never intended to give up. It must be said that since its first ownership, Chelsea has continuously prospered, achieved high results and dominated the English Premier League along with Manchester United. In 2012, Chelsea won the Champions League, marking the club's greatest achievement under the Abramovich dynasty. The history of the Blues completely changed under the contribution of the Russian billionaire. In 2004, Roman Abramovich was honored by ProSport magazine as the most influential person in Russian football. Chelsea has recovered and become one of the most valuable clubs globally, valued by Forbes at $3.2 billion in 2021. Abramovich regularly appears to cheer for his team in most matches. Fight. According to a football benchmark report from auditing company PKMG, billionaire Abramovich spent nearly $2.5 billion US dollars on player acquisitions during his tenure. On the contrary, Chelsea is also the club in England that generates the most revenue from player sales, 
since Abramovich came to power. Every encounter has had a farewell amid tensions amid the war between Russia and Ukraine. Roman Abramovich faces pressure from the British government regarding possible sanctions or asset confiscation, including that of the Blues. In the early morning of March 3, 2022, billionaire Roman Abramovich confirmed the sale of Stamford Bridge Club for £4.5 billion, after nearly 20 years of ownership. It is known that after a successful sale, all of this money will be used to donate to victims in Ukraine and not fall into Abramovich's pocket, a politician, in addition to his business ventures, Abramovich also dabbled in politics, becoming governor of the far east region of Chukotka. Russia, from 2003 to 2008. Abramovich distributed $1.3 billion of his personal assets I give this area. After eight years as governor, Chukotka, a once backward region, has experienced remarkable development. Per capita income in the region increased from more than 4,700 rubles in 2000 to 24,300 rubles, ranking fourth in Russia after Moscow and the Nenetsky and Zabykalsky autonomous regions. The number of people with income below the minimum living standard decreased from 50% in 2000 to 13% in 2006. Investment capital in this area increased from 701 million rubles in 2002 to nearly 5 billion rubles in early 2007. Chukotka is one of the few regions in Russia without foreign investment. Exports increased from $300,000 to $112 million after Abramovich's first six years as governor. Imports increased from $1.9 million to $67.5 million and investment in construction increased from $153 million to 1.3 billion rubles, still extremely wealthy despite sanctions. In March 2006, Abramovich was ranked by Forbes magazine as the richest person in Russia, second in the UK and 11th worldwide with an estimated total wealth of $18.2 billion. His wealth peaked at $23.5 billion in 2008. According to Forbes, as of March 5, 2021, he still holds assets worth up to $14.6 billion. However, amid the conflict between Russia and Ukraine, Russian billionaires face countless Western sanctions. Abramovich was hit the hardest with assets worth more than £9 billion. Despite being punished, Abramovich still retains a fortune of $10.5 billion, dream property portfolio, in England, he owns a mansion with a total area of about 2,800 to 3,000 square meters, worth 150 million pounds, considered the most expensive building in England in 2010. Abramovich also owns an eight-story building in the district. Knightsbridge, London, with a total of eight floors. Including five above-ground floors and three underground floors converted into a cinema, indoor swimming pool, sauna, classroom and children's entertainment area. Of the eight bedrooms, six are for family members, with modern bathrooms, and the remaining two are for guests. Behind the 2,800-square-meter building are four maid rooms for Abramovich's maids, who also employ 40 British bodyguards to protect their mansion. On average, billionaires born in 1966 spend £1.2 million per month to pay their bodyguards, in addition, in West London, Abramovich spent £90 million to buy a 15-bedroom villa in the gardens, one of the most expensive real estate streets in the world, known as the Golden Mile and the birthplace of the lives of many of the world's richest billionaires. Abramovich expanded the area from 1,486 square meters to 1,858 square meters. This villa also has outstanding amenities such as a cinema, swimming pool, spa, spacious garden, and children's play area for children. 2017, Abramovich invested £30 million to buy a three-story penthouse, floors 35, 36 and 37, with an area of 557 square meters, in a skyscraper called Chelsea Waterfront next to the Thames River in London. The penthouse has 360-degree panoramic views of the River Thames and Stamford Bridge Stadium, entering France, in 2001, Abramovich bought Sato Decroll Castle worth £30 million. The castle has views of the coast. In the US, in 2008, 
Abramovich spent £18 million to buy a mansion and farm of nearly 810 square meters at the Wild Oat Ridge Resort in Aspen, Colorado. Abramovich's main residence is a 1,300 square meter glass house, with 11 bedrooms and 12 bathrooms. The house is located at an altitude of 2,800 meters and has views of the Rocky Mountains. Abramovich's real estate collection also includes a property on the Caribbean island of St. Barth that he bought for $90 million in 2009. Supercar, buying real estate is not Abramovich's only hobby. The Russian billionaire also owns a collection of rare cars, worth tens of millions of dollars, that reach the highest speeds. In Abramovich's fleet, the Bugatti Veyron stands out as the fastest supercar, one of the most expensive and powerful cars owned by Russian billionaire Roman Abramovich. Another rare and coveted car he owns is the Pagani Zonda, worth about $1.3 million. Pagani Zonda, one of the most popular supercars, has only 15 units produced. This is a track-specific car produced by the Italian sports car manufacturer with a carbon fiber body, Abramovich also owns the Aston Martin Vulcan, a rare racing car of which only 24 were produced. Each with a high price of about $2.3 million. In addition, he also owns a limited edition Ferrari FXX prototype, of which only 29 were produced, and a limited edition Lamborghini Aventador priced at about $1.1 million. Furthermore, Abramovich also owns two armored Mercedes Benz Maybach 62s both equipped with modern security systems, each costing more than $1 million. In addition, Abramovich also owns a number of other supercars such as Ferrari 488 GT3, Maserati MC-12, Mercedes-AMG GT3, Porsche 911 and Ferrari 360, super yacht, Abramovich owns many luxury yachts. One of them is Eclipse, which is 162.5 meters long, half the length of the Titanic. Abramovich acquired Eclipse in 2010 and to this day. It remains the most expensive yacht in the world, with prices ranging from $650 million to $1.5 billion. Eclipse was built at the Blom Voss shipyard over a period of five years, another yacht, Solaris, is Abramovich's latest acquisition, featuring a helipad, swimming pool and an open-air beach club at the stern. With a length of 140 meters, Solaris has eight floors, 48 cabins, accommodating 60 crew members and 36 guests in 18 luxury cabins. Solaris boasts amenities such as a gym, sauna, jacuzzi and even a beauty salon. This luxury superyacht is also one of the safest yachts in the world, equipped with state-of-the-art security systems, including missile detection radar, bulletproof windows and reinforced security systems. Steel. It's like a steel fortress on the sea. If Eclipse is famous for having a nightclub, Solaris has an open-air beach club at the back of the upper floor. In addition, this super yacht will have its own jet ski fleet and helipad. Next is the Extasia yacht built at the Fedship Royal Van Lent shipyard in the Netherlands in 2004. This super yacht has a length of 85.95 meters, equipped with four MTU engines and four General Electric engines. Designed in an Asian style, Extasia offers a range of luxurious amenities across eight cabins, accommodating 15 guests and a crew of 27. Abramovich sold Extasia in 2009, furthermore, there is Cicero, worth about 22 million US dollars, and Luna, 115 meters in size and worth about 300 million US dollars. Abramovich's yacht team is a formidable force, dominating the list of the world's 100 largest yachts, as announced by Forbes. If not sold sooner, the 114-meter Polaris will remain in his ownership, along with the 112-meter Le Grand Blue, sold in 2011 and 2006 respectively. Cabin crew, the Russian billionaire has an unusual passion for airplanes. He disliked small planes and instead bought a Boeing 767 capable of carrying 375 passengers. Abramovich owns a Boeing 767-33 AR worth $90 million. Boeing 767-33 AR includes an office, bedroom, living room, 
kitchen and is equipped with a missile defense system. The interior of the plane nicknamed the Bandit is decorated with luxurious materials such as fine wood and luxurious fabrics. The Boeing 787 Dreamliner is the latest addition to Abramovich's multi-billion dollar fleet. This is also the most expensive private jet in the world with a base price of 250 million US dollars. Additional accessories and equipment accompanying the aircraft cost $100 million. Originally built in 2015 for Privat Air, a Swiss airline brand that went bankrupt in 2018, the cabin inside the plane was customized to accommodate 50 passengers according to the billionaire's personal preferences. Notably, there are only two Boeing 787-8 Dreamliner private aircraft in existence and experiencing this aircraft costs about $74,000 per hour. For short flights, Russian billionaires often prefer to use the Gulfstream G650. A private jet with a base price of $65 million, Abramovich also owns at least three private helicopters in his fleet. One of them is the Eurocopter, now Airbus, EC-155 Dauphin. This is a medium- and long-range passenger transport helicopter developed for civil purposes, introduced in 1997 with prices ranging from 7 to 8 million US dollars, depending on equipment. The fleet also includes a Eurocopter EC-145, a light twin-engine utility helicopter commonly used for emergency medical services and search and rescue operations. The average selling price for an EC-145 is about 3.5 million US dollars. As a billionaire, Abramovich spared no expense to protect his security. In 2008, Abramovich not only entered the top 25 richest people on the planet but also owned the largest security team in the world. At the time, he had 20 guards monitoring his residence in Belgravia, London, 10 guards patrolling his property in Sussex and 3 guards at his flat in Knightsbridge, London. An additional 40 guards are responsible for ensuring the security of his yacht and escorting him on trips to and from Russia or abroad. Previously, he hired 50 former British Special Forces soldiers and equipped his luxury yacht Polaris with a state-of-the-art missile detection system worth millions of dollars. Abramovich also installed bulletproof glass a helicopter landing pad and a small submarine on this luxury super yacht. In case of danger, the billionaire can escape by helicopter or submarine. On average, the salary paid to Abramovich's security force amounts to nearly 3 million US dollars, eight times the average security cost of Hollywood stars or other famous businessmen. This number does not include the amount of money he spent to hire professional female police officers in the UK to ensure the safety of his children. What will happen to Abramovich's assets? All money was confiscated. Examples include cryptocurrencies, stocks, bonds, checks, precious metals, antiques, automobiles, and real estate, which are subject to sanctions. In addition to freezing billionaire Abramovich's assets, the British government also banned him from entering the UK. Last year, the Canadian government announced it would begin the process of seizing $26 million from Granite Capital Holding, the company owned by Abramovich. However, Abramovich seemed unfazed. According to The Guardian, what Abramovich lost was only a small part of his assets. The Russian billionaire quickly restructured his huge assets immediately after the conflict in Ukraine began. An investigation also revealed that from 2008 to 2000